is that okay if I share the screen? Yeah. And let me know when you can see something on the screen. Could you see the screen? Yes. I'll say a little bit introduction about myself. I'm Aisha Nasser. I'm the research manager for Air Ethics at Vigisa Labs of Europe. Uh, we have been uh, engaged with the Air for People for the past uh, three years and uh, have very much uh, enjoyed uh, the the evolution of of the recommendations and the guidelines over over this period of time. Um, uh, so just a, a brief. Um, uh, uh, introduction as to what Fujitsu is is considering from the from the perspective of the social and the and and the and the, the, the non-technical or the technical uh, requirements we believe that for the wider social implementation of AI uh, sorry um, can you go into presentation mode I think it will be easier to see okay how about this one? better. So for the wider implementation of AI, um, we believe that the social and the, the, the non-technical aspects, for example, um, diversity, um, respect for human society, the culture, all these sort of values need to be considered alongside the technology that is developed within organizations. That's why the conventional approaches are not that promising as opposed to um, the approach where we consider uh, the non-technical aspects along. And this is our human centric uh, vision that we we have uh, established over quite a few years. Um, so in doing so, we have established regulations, standardizations, as well as a certification. And also we are working towards uh, the Fujitsu Grip Air commitment that was published last year in March, as well as we established an advisory committee on air ethics to oversee the, the technical uh, offerings and the solutions that we produce. Also in terms of the education, we have a training program for the air ethics, which has been completed in Japan, all the Fiji employees, and it would be soon uh, roll over into in, into the other parts of the world. Uh, just as just an example for a, a smart mobility uh, kind of a hybrid ecosystem where we look at different uh, key aspects such as the visibility, the intelligence, the predictability, and the decision making. Um, going um, towards the futuristic aspects of this. All the um, elements would um, would 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 uh, offer more advances and more com uh, comprehensive um, knowledge that would generate a wisdom, and in doing so, um, the 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 capabilities of the system, the the functions of the system, would definitely have a lifelong impact on the individuals, not only from the things or IoT perspective, but also in terms of with us as humans as part of the society. Um, and one uh, stepping stones towards the mobility is this, this, the safe the safe um, delegation of control to vehicles uh, to completely automate the systems. And then here trust is the key. We cannot separate ethics um, from the AI. It's, it's something that is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's woven in the fabric of AI. So um, the, the, the message uh, that we have also contributed to this paper is that we need to enable trust uh, as, uh, as an uh, inevitable uh, element within within the autonomous systems, not just that, but also all the industries, uh, you know, uh, more specifically the autonomous systems. And that's what I would like to say, that's it. Thank you very much, Aisha. Um, um, then we have as, as our second uh, commentator, Ida Acosta, please. <laughs> 